Hiya guys and welcome back to the channel um, It's Friday evening The time is five past four And um, I've just parked up, just finished work not long ago And um, tonight's the night where we're going to be having our staff Christmas party Unfortunately I can't um, video at the party as it's not allowed um, But I'm parked up in a nice urban area um, at Seaburn Beach, guys, like I promised. I'm on my own, Sandra's at home, and um, we have the grandchildren this weekend. So, as I say, I'm parked up tonight, and in the morning, um, we'll be doing a, a um, bit of a walk around Seaburn and Roker. So, stay tuned, guys. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel Well it's Saturday morning And yesterday I was at the staff party in Sunderland As I said last week So today guys my plan was Or still is To do a vlog On some of the landmarks um, In Sunderland um, I'm currently in Seaburn And it's absolutely Oying it down with rain um, I don't know if you can see over the distance, you can see the rain in the far corner, you can see the um, famous Sunderland Pier. So my plan was to, to do a bit of a, a walk around Seaburn this morning, but obviously the weather's a little bit um, windy and damp and I'm a, quite concerned you'll not be able to hear me. So what we're going to do guys, I'm just warming my feet up. Um, I've been asleep in the van all night uh, Just cleaned all the windows And what we're going to be doing uh, Very shortly Is at the minute I'm just finishing off my breakfast And my cup of coffee And um, We're going to be going around Doing some um, well known landmarks In Sunderland Store, so store? Stay tuned And um, Watch your space guys Um Let's see if we can guess, or you viewers can guess, what my first landmark's gonna be. It's very close from here. It's not too far away. So stay tuned and let the adventures begin. See you in a bit. Hi right, guys, well our first stop is in Hendon and Sunderland. Um, Hendon is um, a rural area from the original um, Old Town Sunderland um, and it's um, famous for the port um, where back in the day a lot of boats used to, ships used to come through and um, we still have the fish key here. Um, I think on a Tuesday and Friday the boats still turn up where you can get fresh fish and crabs and everything like that. So where I've stopped this morning is um, right bank centre in the middle of um, Hendon, right near the port, to a gorgeous, gorgeous church. It's not a church anymore. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic building and it goes back, I think, from the 1800s, if I remember. So let's go and have a look, guys, and see what you think. So this is Holy Trinity Church, guys, in the centre of um, Hendon at Old Sunderland. And Holy Trinity Church has stood on this spot at the heart of Old Sunderland for more than 300 years, guys. As the fortunes of this city have risen and fallen, like the tides, the building has stood steadfast, serving the community that surrounds it. Now it's a celebration of the past, a hope of the present, and the foundations of the future, saved for the community by the Churches Conservation Trust, with generous support from local regions, and national individuals, sponsors and funders. And I'm reading from this post, guys. This church goes back from the 17th century here in Old Sunderland. Um, 
in Hendon and I'm right near the port guys so it's the first time I've been out the van and this is my first vlog outside the van but I want you to see this guys I'm originally from Sunderland born and bred and a lot of people forget the thriving town Sunderland used to be and just look at the clock there's a clock on all four pillars which you can see around the corner um, it's an absolutely gorgeous building quite uh, a lot of acres um, surrounding the, the church um, and we have some more member more information here so let's have a look guys built between the 1718 sorry 1718 and 1719 the church of Old, Holy Trinity was once the heart of a busy port that served the Merchantile Classics. It's one of only two great early Georgian churches in northeast England. It housed the first public library of Sunderland, first civic rooms, and at one point even the fire engine. However, by the mid 19th century, the focus of civic activity had moved west, and by the 20th century, town planning had effectively cut Holy Trinity off from the Civic Centre. It's quite sad that guys but um, 1712 the Act of Parliament that gave permission to build the church stated that the gentlemen of the vestry were in charge of the new parish. The East, I haven't got my glasses on here, let me have a look here. Um, guys, uh, there's a lot of information on here, as you can see, that's what the church looked like back in the day. Um, you can see people um, having meetings and everything, um, and the old heritage hall, obviously that's inside the, um, the building itself. I'm not going to film in there, because um, it's not allowed, um, but this is Holy Trinity Church in Sunderland and look at the land guys absolutely beautiful so what we're going to do we're going to head off um, and see if we can go down to the port and have a look and here we are at the port of Sunderland You know, it's very sad. Um, it's not sad, but from 1346, boats were built on the river weir. And just along there to your left, guys, you can see Sunderland Fish Key. Hundreds of boats would come along here, right along the river weir. Come through the port, and um, they would dock the fish key where people would line up. Still today, they do that. Not as much as they did back in the seventies and eighties, guys. But um, a thriving place. We're well known here for coal, so hundreds of boats, as I said, from thirteen forty six, will come along here, and. Um, they would collect the coal and distribute to other countries uh, and other places around the world. There's none of that here now, thanks to um, Margaret Thatcher and um, her local government. All we can see now is um, St. Peter's Wharf in the far corner there, if you can see the temple. Uh, sorry, not the, the the spire, right in the far corner. That's um, Saint Peter's Wharf. Um, what was one of the original, um, if not the original church, built here in the north side of um, Sunderland. And it's a thriving business place now. We have the glass centre over in the far corner. Um, 
you can actually stand on the roof there it's out of bounds at the moment because there's an issue there's, they're doing some works on there but um, we have in the distance where your mouth bridge and the um, I don't know if it will focus in there well guy the arched bridge um, on the other side that's the uh, the local um, train line or goes from um, the city centre north and uh, southbound into Newcastle and um, as far down as uh, Middlesbrough as far as I'm aware um, but we'll have a we'll have a little walk along and I'll show you the um, the fish key um, I don't know if we uh, if it's open today if we're able to get any fish not that Sandra likes fish she'll she'll probably go mad if I take fish home but um, as I say guys we're gonna have a look at the fish key and see if um, if it's open today many um, workmen um, working on the fish keys build these crab nets by hand um, and it, it's a skill in itself um, as I say none of these buildings these flats I think these built in the early two uh, I think was 20 is it 2015 or 2012 I could be wrong um, but the famous um, fish key is uh, not far away guys Just walking past some uh, vehicles at the minute, and I'm heading up towards the fish key. Uh, I love Sunderland. Absolutely love Sunderland. Fortunately, I don't live here anymore now, but um, I work here. I'm here five days out of seven, and um, I just love what um, Sunderland City Council have done over the last 20, 30 years. There we are, guys. Sunderland Fish Key. Let's have a walk along. No, it doesn't look as if it's open for business today. The gates are open, but it'll probably be just staff working. Um, I haven't seen many um, boats docked um, with fish this morning. Saying that it's quite, it's still early. It's 25 to 11. Um, so this afternoon we might um, be able to have some fish but um, the building's quite long it goes all the way for at least a quarter of a mile um, I'm trying to get used to talking in the camera it's when people are walking past I mean I'm not embarrassed I'm not an embarrassed person but uh, people send the tent and look at you. What the hell is that not a doing? Um, I saw he's a fish key. So, Sunderland, live lobsters, prawns. Second left. Aye. Anyway, guys. The port uh, goes all the way up um, through Hendon and out to obviously the North Sea. But um, it travels um, south, if I can say that correctly, um, through Southwick um, under the Queen Alexander Bridge. Um, I, and I used to work under there back when I was a boy on the milk. Um, but I just want you to see a little bit of my history, you know, where I was brought up, you know, so you can get to know, you can get to know me and know where I come from. But um, we'll head off now. Um, it's a little bit cold. Near the seagulls in the background there. But we'll um, we'll crack on and see um, where we're going to go to next, guys. Heading back to the van now. Um, I'm 
thinking, you know, today to go and take this up to Pension Monument. Um, it's quite a hike to get up there, to be honest with you. There's a hundred and, I think there's 168 steps. And if um, I feel fit enough, one day, I'll be, uh, me and Sam will take you up there. And um, once you get the top, you've got some fantastic views on a clear day. But um, see a big ship there docked. And we're, we're heading back to Stella, uh, where it'll be nice and warm. See, it's uh, 1724. I don't know if you can see. 1724 that plaque right above um, at the side of the building there so that tells me that um, this area here was back well obviously it was well before 1730 1734 um, oh, it's cold Ah, uh, the building, the, sorry, this, um, the port of uh, Sunderland, 13, in the 1300s, and I surmise well before then, and it's uh, a beautiful place, uh, place, sorry, and, um, you know, if you think about it, on a thriving hot summer's day to come down here and have a picnic, and then I was just looking there, I don't know if you can see. The um the river has flown really, really quickly this morning. Um, which is um quite strange. But it's sad, like I said earlier on there, it's sad to think that you know, no more ships here are built. And it's a a business place, it flats. Um, the local National Glass Centre. Um, we have the university over there, where you can see, with the um, the slope and building. Uh, that's um, the university. Um, and if I remember rightly, that used to be... I'll uh, just turn the camera around. That used to be um, up on Chester Road in Sunderland. Well, I think part of the university, I think it's, this part is a section of the university, uh, a state of the art building, um, but we'll we'll crack on. Sorry about keep turning the camera around, guys, but we're using the iPhone, and as you know, on the iPhone, you can't turn the the camera around um, uh, physically. Uh, I should say manually. You've got to obviously turn the camera around by hand. But let's crack on and see how we get on. Hey guys, well it's um, just gone up past twelve. It's time for a cup of coffee. And um, I was going to go to McDonald's, but I'm watching me my, um, my old figure at the minute. So i um, got some lost the pot noodles. So we're going to have a couple of packets of them. And um, let's just make sure we get this camera right for you. Going to have a couple of pots of them. And... Um, Relax for an hour or so. Um, so what I've done is I've boiled the kettle. Well, boiling the kettle, I should say. I'm going to make a cup of coffee first. And um, out of the water from the kettle, when I finished me um, boiling and putting water in my coffee, I want to use the rest of the water to put in the pan and to make some um, noodles come. I'm a little bit hungry. Bear with us, guys. I'm just going to get my cup. Yeah, we've got a nice cup of coffee. Um, I'm quite hungry, actually. We had a cracking night out last night uh, with everyone from work. Had a lovely Christmas. Um, just get the spoon, by the way. Had a lovely Christmas um, dinner, and um, I think I had, I had around about a few pints. It wasn't that many. I was always mindful that um, I, I had lots to do this morning, so. Um, but no, it was nice to get out. Um, next weekend, I have, uh, I'm actually off Saturday and Sunday. 
so Sandra wants to go all the way in the van so hopefully we'll be doing some uh, some adventures and um, if you like guys you'll be able to join in and come along why don't you I actually got two beers John Smith's in the fridge but um, I didn't happen to use them last night so they'll go back in the house so we're gonna have a use the old tea um, just gonna put a couple of pans in there a couple of packets in there sorry a couple of pans um, I'm actually parked up in Farrington at the moment right near the old police station um, in McDonald's and I thought oh I've I'll, I'll pop in and I'll grab a McDonald's but then I decided look just park I've got noodles in the van save the seven or eight pound and um, we'll um, we'll be able to save a bit of money in it you know what I mean <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until um, my coffee's done and these noodles I'll use the water out them uh, out the kettle. A lot of people put the the sort of powdery curry powder in with the the noodles. I don't. I wait. This just about done. They're yeah, just about done. Sorry. Put these in. Mix it round. Give it a couple of minutes, and Bob's your uncle. So while we're waiting for the the um, kettle to boil. Um, I've got, thanks to you guys, I've got nine subscribers to our channel now. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. I keep looking over to the left, then I realise my camera lens is to the right. Apologise. Um, but guys, please, I'd love it if you'd be able to share the channel, you know. Um, like I say, I know you haven't, we haven't done many adventures, but um, I didn't know which way to start off. Our, our channel to be honest with you you know do you just go 100% right into it loads of adventures or do you have a you know get people so people can get to know me um you seem to be stuck on a lot this morning which is quite concerning um but I'm in Stella as you know she's a cracking van and uh, she never lets me down it's due for an MOT next month in January where I'll need the handbrake adjusted and I'm going to put some new brake pipes on but uh, underneath the van is solid uh, for its age it's a 2006 model um, and it's not like I say it's never let me and Sandra down we've had the van for four years now around uh, three three four years I think um, and she's never let us down in March, April time, <clears throat> Sandra's wanting to um, go to Germany in the van. So over the next, well, it'll be after Christmas now. After Christmas, we'll be um, we'll be planning a trip to Germany or the Netherlands. Netherlands, Netherlands. <laughs> we'll be we'll be planning either one or the other over the next coming weeks. Um, but you know it'd be nice just to get away guys um i have bought some screen covers for the van um i had them on last night and i am going to do a review with them and i'll put the link in the description as to where i bought them from um and i paid 69 pounds i'm happy with them but the trouble is the side windows obviously the, the, if you guys have got um, screen covers you'll know they've got suction mounts and where my side windows split in two uh, I'll show you so you can understand where I'm coming from where the window splits in two there a suction mount one of them touches the bar here and the word described is VWLT35 screen covers but apart from that, 
you know, and adjust them a little bit. Apart from that, they work fine. It didn't um, reduce the condensation that it stated that it would do. Um, and what I always do is I always crack a couple of windows open on a night before we go to sleep in the van. One, so there's a bit of ventilation coming through the van and two, to reduce the um, condensation. But with these screen covers, it hasn't done it. So um, I was going to say whether or not I'm putting them on wrong, but I think there's only one way you can put them on. But uh, hey, hold is what it is, isn't it? You know, but um, we're just waiting for the kettle boiling, guys, and um, we'll be back soon. Take care.